Have you ever heard of a lioness becoming a surrogate mother to a baby wildebeest? Get ready to witness the incredible act of maternal instinct as a lioness steps in to protect a lost baby wildebeest from a group of deadly hyenas. 30 lionesses become surrogate mothers to protect lost baby wildebeest. A baby wildebeest is falling into the range of a hyena. At the same time, the lion is also aiming for this prey. The hyenas chased and attacked the wildebeest, but the lion rushed to stop it. The fight between the lion and the hyena takes place, and the victory belongs to the lion. The wildebeest took advantage of the opportunity to escape, but was still followed by the lion. I don't know why the lion spares this small prey. The hyena has always been a competitive predator of the lions. The lion's hunt always has to confront the hyena. And of course, with this advantage, the lion is always the winner in the hunt. The hyena is quite tired, looking for a place to hide after the fight with the lion. In another hunt, the lion is aiming for the calves. The mother wildebeest was wanting to protect her baby, but couldn't make it in time. She had to leave her baby. With maternal instincts, the lioness does not harm the baby antelope. The lion is watching to see if the mother wildebeest will come back. It will keep the baby wildebeest with it, waiting for the mother wildebeest to come near. It seems that keeping the wildebeest cubs by her side is not very good. The lioness lost patience and left. In the end, the wildebeest cubs escaped death and even reunited with their mother. A lion is an animal that fights to defend territory or gain control in a herd. In a lion herd, there is a dominant male who has control over the females and the cubs. Where there's a competition for territory or control, the lions will start fighting to settle the dispute. This struggle will only end when one of the two lions wins or is defeated. Competition for food between lions and hyenas is common in the wild. This dispute often occurs when food resources are depleted in a certain area. With a large number of hyenas, lions alone cannot protect their food. These two lions realize that their fellow is surrounded by hyenas. They start running to help their fellows chase the hyenas away. Although the lion is one of the most skilled predators in the animal kingdom, but sometimes they also encounter cases of being defeated by the prey that they are hunting. This usually happens when the prey is large and an aggressive animal. The lion chooses a wildebeest to hunt and defeat. But unfortunately the wildebeest return to chase and attack once again. forcing the lion to run away from the pursuit. In some cases, lions can be seriously injured or even killed in this hunting adventure. The hunt of a lion with a buffalo is a tough battle between two powerful enemies. 
The lions have found a hole in the buffalo's defense. They will attack quickly. After defeating the prey, the lions sat together to enjoy. When lions hunt, they often compete for their share of the food. This can lead to conflicts and fights in the herd. Because every lion in the herd wants to get as much food as possible. The hyena is a small animal that lives in packs and has very poor defenses. When lions want to hurt hyenas, they will come at a very high speed using their strength and speed to attack the hyenas. Although the hyena tries to protest by constantly jumping up and down. However, they often are unsuccessful in defeating lions. Nowadays, lions are often kept in ecological zones. They are trained to be friendly with humans and interact with tourists. Ecozones are often designed to recreate the natural habitat for animals. With jungle grassland, freshwater environments and meeting with other ecological needs of the lions. This is the hunt of a lion with a wild buffalo in the eco zone. Buffalo is one of the large prey that lions often target, so they need strength and skill when confronting the buffalo. Letting lions hunt buffaloes in the eco zone can be an interesting experience for all of the visitors. In the eco zone, lions can be trained to hunt wild buffalo. But letting lions hunt wild buffalo in the eco zone needs to be done very carefully to ensure the safety of all visitors. This hyena is fighting for prey, chasing leopards away from its prey. But too busy chasing the hunting leopard, the hyena let the prey run away. Hyenas often hunt in packs. They easily overwhelm lions in large numbers. The hyenas can organize and attack lions so that the lion does not have time to counterattack. However, hyenas are no match for lions when their herd arrives. An injured hyena is looking for water to drink. It looks tired. One of the hyena's hind legs can't stand. When it detects the lion chasing, the hyena still tries to run. The lion seemed just to want to make fun of it, so it spared the hyena. After the chase, the hyena injured both of its hind legs and it tried to run away. The leopard is very talented and an intelligent predator. Leopards approach the bovine antelope wisely and cautiously. Then make a quick attack on the weak point to catch the prey. However, hunting is always risky and not always successful. Lions are really capable of hunting hyenas in the night. Night is also the time when lions will hunt. Although hyenas are also capable of powerful attacks at night, they can still fall prey to lions if they're not mindful of their surroundings.
The hyena, after fighting with the lion, was wounded in the neck. Lions are large and very aggressive predators. They're usually not easily attacked by any other animals. However, this lion has invaded the territory of the hyenas. This herd of hyenas organizes and attacks lions to protect their territory and their other group members. Although hyenas are not large predators, they are very intelligent when calculating their attacks and defense. In large numbers, they can overwhelm lions extremely quickly. When in danger, the lion will make a cry to let the other lions know. Immediately, its comrades come to rescue the lion from the hyena's attack. We hope that you've really enjoyed and found interesting and useful values from the gecko. We'll continue to bring you exciting stories, information and experiences about the animal world in the future. Thank you for accompanying us.